Then they invited him to stay for several days. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to to God. God. The response to the song, the Lord has revealed his victory in the sight of the nations. The The Lord Lord has revealed his victory in the sight of the nations. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have brought him victory. The Lord Lord has revealed his victory in the sight of the nations. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed his victory in the sight of the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praise. The Lord has revealed his victory in the sight of the nations. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. So in the beginning of my reflection, obviously, we all know what today's theme is encompassed of all about that four-letter word, L-O-V-E, And certainly today and tomorrow and every day is a real day of love. I had a real preview of it back at 3 o'clock this afternoon at Our Lady of Guadalupe, where I had the most beautiful couple who were wedded and who exchanged their vows and their consent and their rings. And I've never seen so much joy probably the last 14 months of my life during this pandemic with the beautiful smile on a bride and a smile on a groom. Yeah, 
there were only nine of us, including me, ten. But it was just absolutely wonderful, and they live streamed just like uh, our friends are doing right now for this Mass. And so it was uh, wonderful to feel the love. But in particular, why I mention is because I celebrate a lot of weddings, but for some strange reason today, maybe it's been a while since I've celebrated a wedding, but I really was overcome by that beautiful sense of Christian love, which I wanted to share this weekend in my reflection, in my homily with all of you. Christian love. As I also think of Christian love, and before I get into my reflection, on behalf of Father Mario and myself and our entire pastoral team and our entire uh, staff, I certainly want to wish all our mothers, our heroes, our mentors, not to mention our personal chefs and our taxi drivers, but perhaps most importantly of all, Mom, you're the one that's always got your family's back. Yeah, when someone means so much, then our beautiful mothers, living and deceased, it can be hard to find the right words to tell them how much we love them. Every mom, every mom is different, but each is precious to us in our own way. Although with this pandemic, once again this year, we are not able to see each other as much as we have liked this year and last Mother's Day also. But we simply want to say thank you for all your love and support each day to get us through this to our beautiful mothers. To all our beautiful mothers living and deceased, we, your daughters, your sons, your stepsons, your stepdaughters, we will never forget you, our beautiful mothers. Stevie Wonder once said, Mama is, was, my greatest teacher, a teacher of compassion, love, and fearlessness. If love is sweet as a flower, then my mother is the sweet flower of love. Happy Mother's Day to all our beautiful mothers. And during this Mass, we will also remember your deceased mothers with a moment of silence. Today's second reading from the first letter of John and the Gospel from John 15, both speak about love. Christian love. Love is not forced on a person. It isn't due to some magical potion, nor does it come merely from some kind of a, a physical attraction or any other attraction for that matter. Love, true love, lasting love, only results from the love of Jesus Christ. And that love becomes the magnet. If a person loves the Lord, that love itself will attract other people who are seeking the Lord. I want to repeat that. The love of Jesus must become a magnet to our lives. Like a magnet that we put on the fridge and it's there for good. Like a crane with a magnet that's coming down to pick something very, very heavy up and locks it in and picks that up. That's magnetized. Unless we let go, it will never, ever separate. My brothers and sisters, if a person loves the way the Lord loves, if we can love the way Jesus loved, we will attract other people who come to seek the Lord. Just for a few moments, I want you to consider St. Teresa of Calcutta. Her work among the poor spread throughout the world. Her religious order, which was the missionary of charities, 
became the fastest growing religious order in the church. You know why so many people were so attracted to Mother Teresa, now St. Teresa of Calcutta? Certainly they felt her love of Jesus, her, her, her true love, her lasting love, the true meaning of love. That's what they experienced. That's what they felt. And in particular, they felt it when Mother Teresa brought Matthew 25 alive. When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was naked, you gave me clothes. That's the love of Jesus that became magnetized into the life of Mother Teresa, who spread through the whole world and the universe the true meaning of love. But there was even more than the, the, there's even more than what attracted Mother Teresa. They were drawn by Jesus' love within her. And as I said, and I keep repeating, they were drawn by the Jesus' love within her. And like a magnet, that love flowed through her into them. And then what did they do? They turned around. They grabbed the love from Jesus. Mother Teresa took the love from Jesus. She put the love in her life. Then she gave the love to her missionaries. Then she gave the love to the world. And people just absorbed that love of Mother Teresa and that of Jesus like a magnet. And the beat goes on and the beat goes on. And then one continues to attract, attract another to Christ. You know, we know that saying that we love Jesus is not enough. Just to say, Jesus, I love you, is not enough enough. What we have to do is we have to live his love. We have to live his love like that of Mother Teresa. That is all that really matters. If we love each other truly in the sacrificial way that Jesus loved his father, his mother, how he loved his people, true love, lasting love, spiritual love. St. Augustine put it this way, once and for all, just a short rule I want to lay down for all of you. Love and do what you will, as long as it always comes from love. If you keep silence, then do it out of love. If you want to cry, then do it out of love. If you want to refrain from punishing someone, then do it out of love. If you want to be kind to someone, do it out of love, not because you have to. Do it out of love. Let the root of love be within each and every one of us. From such a root, nothing but good can come. And so, my dear friends, Jesus Christ is the potion, the only potion of spiritual Christian love. He is the potion that the only love that can truly bring us happiness. I pray today that you and I have the courage or receive the courage to love his presence so much that his love will flow through you and me like it flowed through Mother Teresa. And if you stop and think for one moment, yeah, but Mother Teresa was different than I, you're wrong. I truly believe that the love of Jesus can shine through each and every one of us and attract another to Jesus. And the beat goes on and the beat goes on. So in closing, again, as we pray for all of our mothers and our deceased mothers, just at this moment, 
we are going to thank God for the love of a mother. In many ways, we can honestly say my mother and your mother had the same love of Mother Teresa. And so isn't it amazing that in little Windsor, Ontario, Canada, that love of Jesus is within us, among us. And so through the grace of God, may God bless your beautiful families and may your families um, just shine with the love of Jesus. And if you have an opportunity this week to pass on that love, do it. Together, as a community of faith, we profess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us place before our loving God these are intentions. For the church witnessing to love indiscriminately and without borders, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For global leaders bearing the fruits of justice for the poor, we pray to the Lord. For people across the globe suffering under the weights of the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. For our parish welcoming any all who come to us in Jesus' name, we pray to the Lord. For the dead longing for the eternal embrace of their Creator, we pray to the Lord. Today, we also want to remember our parishioners who have died. For the repose of the soul of Edward Hooper, Luke Moss, and Wendy Luchuk, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And thanksgiving for all of our beautiful mothers. And now, as we remember our deceased mothers, we offer this moment of silence. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. And may they rest in peace, amen. And may their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. By the pouring of this wine and the mingling of this water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, 
we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. No, we're just recording. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, our Lord took the chalice and once again giving thanks and praise, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, Peter, Fabro, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, For the, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. May the peace of Jesus be upon all of you at home, and all your family, and all your friends and your neighbors. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of this world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you love me, keep my commandments, says the Lord, and I will ask the Father, and he will send you another paraclete to abide with you forever. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, just before we go our separate ways, I certainly ask all of our beautiful mothers to bow their heads and to receive this virtual blessing. We praise and thank you on this day for the presence of our beautiful mothers in this world, for the unconditional love you instill in their souls and the unlimited sacrifices they make for us, their children. May you bless the women who are not at the beginning of their journey of motherhood with newborn babies and toddlers. May you bless the mothers who are in the midst of teenage years with their children. May you bless the single mother who is challenged to be all things to her children. May you bless the mother who chooses to love and nurture the child of another. May you bless the mothers who continue to guide their children and the next generation as grandmothers. For those of us whose mothers now share your heavenly banquet, may you enable us this day to remember a special memory to help us endure the loss we feel from the absence of our mother in our daily lives. Continue to bless these women. Keep them healthy in mind and body and spirit. Allow them to turn to you when they struggle in their daily lives and give them the courage, compassion, and vision to meet the daily challenges of motherhood. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go now and enjoy the peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia.